Ladies and gentlemen, mesdames et messieurs, bienvenue. Welcome. Although we gather from afar, we come together on lands that from time immemorial have been stewarded and shaped by indigenous peoples. To them, we offer our thanks and gratitude. Aujourd'hui, 20 personnes seront honorées par l'ordre très vénérable de l'hôpital de Saint-Jean de Jérusalem, l'un des plus anciens organismes de bienfaisance au monde. Grâce à ses admissions ou promotions au sein de l'Ordre, l'Ordre veut rendre hommage à des bénévoles extraordinaires venant des quatre coins de notre grand pays. We would like to acknowledge among us today the Honorable Eva Ariak, Commissioner of Nunavut, Mr. Alain Laurencel, Chancellor, and Mr. Geoffrey Lawheed, Past Chancellor of the Priory of Canada, members of the Priory of Canada, as well as family and friends of those being honored. La cérémonie d'aujourd'hui sera présidée par M. Alain Laurencel, chancelier du Prieuré du Canada de l'Ordre très vénérable de l'Hôpital de Saint-Jean de Jérusalem. We are pleased to have with us today the Dean of the Priory, Major General Guy Chapdelaine, who will now offer the invocation. I invite you to join me in prayer or to take this moment for a personal reflection. Gracious God, as we gather today, we give you thanks for all that makes our lives rich with meaning, for our families and friendships, and for our calling to be in the service of others. Au grand esprit, dont j'entends la voix dans les vents et dont le souffle donne vie au monde entier, donne à mes mains le respect des choses que tu as créées et à mes oreilles, une plus grande sensibilité au son de ta voix. Dieu créateur, indique-nous le chemin de la guérison, du pardon et de la réconciliation, et suscite en nous une fraternité renouvelée. We are especially thankful for those who are to be invested as members are promoted within the most venerable order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem in recognition of their outstanding contribution to our community and to our country. We are thankful for their families who have supported them and allowed them to dedicate themselves to the service of humanity. Nous célignons avec fierté et humilité le service extraordinaire de nos récipiendaires et de leur engagement quotidien au service des autres. We pray for the most venerable order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem and for all those who share our pledge, pro fide, pro utilitate hominum, for faith, for the service of humanity. In these words are found our inspiration, our guidance, and our mission. May our pledge be ever present in all that we do. Continue, we pray, to bless our sovereign lady, Elizabeth, our queen, and her representatives, Richard, our grand prior, Mark, our lord prior, and Alain, our chancellor, and all those in authority. May we continue to be inspired by the example of those with whom we serve within the order and St. John Ambulance. Theirs is a legacy of kindness, love, compassion, which is so much needed in our world. We pray for all those in need, all those whose lives can be improved by the presence of those willing to take up the mantle of service. We offer this in all our prayers, in your loving name. Amen. Mesdames et Messieurs, le Chancelier du Prieuré du Canada, M. Alain Laurencel. Dear uh, recipients and distinguished guests, good morning. As Chancellor of St. John Ambulance Canada, I am delighted to be with you virtually today. I wish I was in person and to invest you into the Order of St. John, which is, as you know, 
part of the Canadian honor system. Admission into and promotion in the order is an honor bestowed by Her Majesty the Queen. This honor does not confer any rank, style, title, dignity, or social precedence. It is a means of recognizing an individual's outstanding volunteerism and leadership in their community. You are certainly most deserving. And we are so fortunate and thankful that you choose to share your time and your many talents with St. John in continued support and service to our mission, that is to enable Canadians to improve their health, their safety and quality of life by providing life-saving training and community services. La mission de l'Ambulance Saint-Jean est de prévenir et de soulager les maladies et les blessures et d'agir pour améliorer la santé et le bien-être des personnes de toute race et de toute croyance. Nous sommes l'un des ordres nationaux du Canada et nous constituons l'élément le plus ancien du régime canadien de distinction honorifique. St. John's work in Canada began in 1883, although we're celebrating our 75th anniversary of the Priory uh, this year. So since then, it signaled the beginning of a long and distinguished history of service to Canadians and to people around the world. We are truly an active, working order, boots on the ground charity. St. John Ambulance is an integral part of communities from coast to coast to coast, offering such essential and innovative programs as medical first responder, disaster response, search and rescue, therapy dog visitation services, health and safety related adult and youth programs, home caregiver support, mental health first aid, opioid overdose awareness training, and indigenous first aid instructor training. That's just to name a few. We provide first aid and CPR training, as you know, to over half a million Canadians each year and double that figure in terms of community service hours. In Canada, we are 19,000 volunteers and order members, 4,000 certified instructors, and a tireless and dedicated staff of over 400 internationally, because you are part of an international family. There are over 200,000 volunteers of St. John who touch the lives of 3 million people in more than 40 countries across the globe. During the COVID pandemic, 2,000 of our St. John volunteers provided over 100,000 hours of support to frontline workers in long-term care facilities in assessment centers, isolation centers, vaccination centers, distributing PPE, not just in cities, but as well in rural areas and in northern and remote regions across Canada. More recently, St. John assisted Immigration, Refugee and Citizenship Canada by supporting on an urgent basis quarantine sites for close to 500 Afghan refugees. As we speak and as we meet today, Members from St. John Ambulance BC are responding to the unprecedented flooding that is devastating communities across that province. In Abbotsford, Chilliwack, Kamloops, and other British Columbia communities, volunteers are providing first aid support to those requiring temporary lodgings and coordinating with other agencies and healthcare partners to assist with the registration and identification of displaced people. Therapy dog teams have been sent in visiting evacuation sites, and providing comfort to those who have been displaced. At the request of Fraser Health, our volunteers quickly mobilize and stand at the ready to transport dialysis patients in urgent need of treatment. Members from St. John Ambulance BC Brigades deployed rapidly across disaster zones and continue to put in long hours supporting emergency flood relief efforts and providing first aid, first aid and comfort to those in need. Thank you so much for your service. En acceptant cette, votre admission ou votre promotion au cours de cette cérémonie virtuelle, vous faites désormais partie de cette longue et riche histoire de premiers soins et de bienveillance. Je vous remercie sincèrement d'avoir voulu faire la différence et d'être unis à nous pour servir les Canadiens et les Canadiennes. In conclusion, in accepting your admission or promotion during this virtual ceremony, you are now part of this long and rich history of caring. A heartfelt thank you for wanting to make that difference 
and to stand united with us in service to Canadians. Nenes Compton, miigwech, merci, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Patricia Kearney, the Prior Secretary, will now read greetings from the Lord Prior, Professor Mark Compton. Hello, I'm bringing you greetings from our Lord Prior, uh, Mark Compton. As Lord Prior of the Most Venerable Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem, I am delighted to extend warmest greetings to all those in attendance through the power of Zoom at this 2021 Investiture Ceremony for the Priory of Canada. 2021 is a special year for St. John in Canada, and it is as it marks the 75th anniversary of the establishment of the Priory of Canada. This investiture is also special as it is being held virtually due to the ongoing worldwide pandemic. We have managed to achieve so much during the pandemic through grit, determination, and dedication. St. John people in Canada and across the world have made extraordinary contributions to fighting the COVID pandemic. Selfless service delivered with skill, care, and compassion. You all have much to be proud of, not only individual effort, but pride in our great worldwide organization of which each of you is an integral and important part. Every day, compassionate Canadians are making a difference in their communities. Those who volunteer with St. John Ambulance and those who humanitarian efforts have merited admission to or promotion in the Order of St. John and everyone who supports this cause deserve our gratitude. Your efforts, especially during these challenging times, help Canadians stay safe and healthy. Your devotion of time and effort saves lives and makes this a more resilient and more caring world. On behalf of the entire St. John family worldwide, I offer you my sincere thanks for your selfless generosity and unwavering dedication. Congratulations to you all. Signed, Professor Mark Compton, Lord Prior. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we now invite the Chancellor, Alain Laurencel, to install her honor, Eva Ariac, in a role of Vice Prior for the Order of St. John in Nunavut. The Governor General of Canada, Prior of the Priory of Canada of the Most Venerable Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem, to the Honorable Eva Kamanik Ariak, greeting. Whereas, with the approval of Her Majesty, Queen Elizabeth II, Queen of Canada, Sovereign Head of the Most Venerable Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem, we have been pleased to appoint you to be Vice Prior of St. John Council for Nunavut, we do by these presents appoint you to this office with all the rights, privileges, and obligations thereunto appertaining. Given at Rideau Hall in the city of Ottawa, under the seal of the Priory of Canada of the Most Venerable Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem, this eighth day of June, in the year 2021, in the 70th year of Her Majesty's reign, by the Prior's command. Your Honor, I am pleased to install you today as Vice Prior for the Order of St. John in Nunavut. We thank you for accepting this role and for your continued support of St. John Ambulance. Thank you. Your Honor, Commissioner Ari Ariak, would you like to say a few words in the language uh, languages of your choice to everyone who has joined us today on this national virtual investiture? Yes. We didn't name Maria Kamani Katarin Narama Ilegi Lucy. It is an honor to be taking the role of Vice Prior for the Order of St. John in my home territory of Nunavut. I am so proud. I pledge to support and promote the Order's mission to prevent and relieve sickness and injury and encourage the enhancement of health and well-being of people all over the world. 
I will give my full support to the charitable work of St. John Ambulance and St. John Canada Foundation that supports St. John of Jerusalem. These organizations provide first aid training and medical assistance and eye care and treatment to millions of people. I am so proud of an organization committed to the motto for the faith in service of humanity. Thank you very much. The wonders of technology, Your Honor, is that when you started speaking, the whole screen moved closer right beside me. So I had you on immediately on the screen right beside me. So it's wonderful to be sharing the same screen, but closer uh, with you. We are so proud uh, to have you as a member of the order and, and as someone who has taken up uh, the, the challenge and also uh, the duties with uh, St. John. So thank you uh, very much uh, for your kind words. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the investitures of the candidates by grade. To receive the insignia of commander, recevra l'insigne de commandeur, le Dr. Robert Boilly, Laval, Québec. En tant que directeur provincial du développement des relations, grâce à ses efforts auprès des donateurs, le Conseil du Québec a ramassé plus de 100 000 et ce, même durant la pandémie, le Dr. Robert Boilly. Bienvenue à l'ordre, uh, Robert, et ta promotion. Merci beaucoup, Alain. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure. Uh, I began uh, volunteering for St. John in 2008, and uh, I served in many capacities. And uh, the sky is the limit when you volunteer with St. John. You can go. You can go as far as you want. Put as many hours as you want. That's <laughs> That's a statement, but uh, it's a lot of fun and I really enjoy it and I, I hope to be, and I, I know I will be with you for a long time. Thank you very much. To receive the insignia of officer, recevront l'insigne d'officier. Mr. Andrew Stanzel, Ottawa, Ontario. The success of Federal District Council's community services was thanks in great part to his strong leadership, professionalism, and dedication to St. John and its values, leading to an increase in the number of medical first responders by 36% to 120 members. Mr. Andrew Stanzel. Mr. Steve White Kit Kuwu, Burnaby, British Columbia. Using his leadership and mentorship skills as Brigade Cadet Commander, he has helped many cadet officers move ahead, becoming better skilled and better leaders. These learned attributes and skills will help them to be better citizens as they become active and contributing members of their communities. Mr. Steve Waikit Wu. Andrew and Steve, welcome uh, and welcome and congratulations on your promotion as officers in the Order of St. John. Very well deserved. Thank you, Chancellor. To receive the insignia of member, recevront l'insigne de membre, Elizabeth Mary Anderson, Victoria, British Columbia. As one of the true pioneers of the Therapy Dogs program in Victoria, she has volunteered more than 11 years and has been a faithful visitor of the seniors at Broadmoor Lodge, Elizabeth Mary Anderson. Richard Wallace Curry, Kamloops, British Columbia. He has worked actively to promote the therapy dogs program in his community as a long-standing volunteer, contributing to the leadership of the organization and helping the program to get wider recognition. Richard Wallace Curie.
Susan E. Andersby, Kamloops, British Columbia. Through her therapy dog visitations, she has enhanced the health and well being of countless individuals. She also performed the evaluation of new therapy dog teams, supervision, training, and mentoring of new volunteers. Susan E. Andersby. Robin Bruce Farkar, Crofton, British Columbia. He has provided notable and committed service to St. John Ambulance over an extended period of time through outstanding patient care practice and personal leadership by mentoring other volunteers to their best. Robin Bruce Farkar. Donald James Garish, Kamloops, British Columbia. He has contributed greatly to the success of the Kamloops Executive, establishing new visiting therapy dog programs throughout the Kamloops community, including Kamloops Family Court and the Royal Inland Hospital. Donald James Garish. Gregory John Garish, Kamloops, British Columbia. As a member of the Kamloops Th Therapy Dog Program, he worked closely with staff at the Royal Hinland Hospital to assist with the rehabilitation of young head injury patients and established a strong bond with the physiotherapists. Gregory John Garish. André Claude Gendron, Sherbrooke, Quebec. Féru de technologie, il a fait entrer la division de Sherbrooke dans le 21e siècle en déployant des solutions de gestion dignes digne des meilleures entreprises. Par son engagement, il a stimulé l'engagement des autres bénévoles. André-Claude Gendron. Murray Claire Hammer, Terrace, British Columbia. He has a very positive influence in Terrace Division and helped in rebuilding Prince George Division actively seeking recruits for both divisions. His flying skills have helped deliver much needed medical supplies and test kits to remote communities. Murray Claire Hammer. Andrew Christian Derek Hilland, Vernon, British Columbia. In addition to being the divisional superintendent of the Vernon division, he also helped establish the Joint Health Canada St. John Quarantine Site in Kelowna, managing its daily operations. Andrew Christian Derek Hilland. Ralph Leung, British, Burnaby, British Columbia. He has led and supported over 50 members of the Divisional Brigade over 10 years. He has guided many to become today's doctors, nurses, paramedics and healthcare providers and continues to promote health and safety in the community. Ralph Leung. Beverly Ann Leuken, Victoria, British Columbia. She successfully convinced the Vancouver Health Authority to allow therapy dogs into previously inaccessible wards. And thanks to her efforts, sick children in both the cancer and mental health units are now able to receive comfort and companionship. Beverly Ann Lukin. Sean David McHugh, Nanaimo, British Columbia. Since becoming the administrative officer, he has ensured that the data and systems used for reporting and volunteer management have been able to mitigate various risks. He also ensured that all members had their volunteer hours credited to their records. Sean David McHugh. Manuel A. Montero, Victoria, British Columbia. Since moving to British Columbia after many years service in Ontario, he has been actively involved in branch governance, therapy dog program, brigade and cadet programs, training and fundraising within the greater Victoria area. Manuel A. Montero. Christine Marie Redicott, British uh, Kamloops, British Columbia. Through her involvement with the Kamloops Therapy Dog Program, 
and sharing her extensive expertise, training, and mentorship, she has helped enhance awareness of the program in a community, leading to positive recognition of therapy dogs. Christine Mary Redekop. <laughs> Barbara Ann Rankers, Abbotsford, British Columbia. Bringing three dogs into the program so far, an exceptional unit facilitator for many years, managing a total of 56 active teams overall. She continues to find innovative ways to expand the program's reach through access to the Alouette Women's Correctional Facility. Barbara Ann Rankers. Chance Kenneth Vaynot, Kelowna, British Columbia. Putting together a team to lead the Health Canada contract for returning Canadians who required quarantining, he managed the site, ensuring all went well during very, very trying times, and that the project was a resounding success. Chance Kenneth Vaynot. Elizabeth, Richard, Susan, Robin, Donald, Gregory, Andre Claude, Murray, Andrew, Adam, Ralph, Beverly, Sean, Manuel, Christine, Barbara, and Chance. Welcome as new members of the Order of St. John. Someone uh, much wiser than, than myself once said, we thank you not so much for what you did for St. John, what you did to become members of the Order of St. John, but what you're about to do for St. John in the years to come. I think that hearing all of these citations brings renewed hope uh, that we have uh, wonderful, excellent people who are members, new members of the Order of St. John uh, we are refreshed, we are renewed, and I thank you so much, not for what you did, but what you're about to do in the future for St. John. Thank you so much. So we welcome you as, or, as members of the Order of St. John. May you continue to be faithful members of the Order, be loyal to your sovereign and country, true to your honor, and faithful to the purpose and objectives of the Order. I offer you my congratulations and best wishes. Nous vous souhaitons la bienvenue en tant que membre de l'Ordre de Saint-Jean. Puissiez-vous continuer à être des membres fidèles de l'Ordre? Soyez lo loyaux envers votre souverain et votre pays, fidèles à votre honneur et fidèles aux buts et aux objectifs de l'Ordre. Je vous présente mes félicitations et mes meilleurs voeux. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in congratulating all of today's investees. Joignez-vous à moi afin de féliciter tous nos récipiendaires. Mesdames et messieurs, ceci conclut la cérémonie d'investiture virtuelle 2021 de l'Ordre très vénérable de l'Hôpital de Saint-Jean de Jérusalem. Ladies and gentlemen, we conclude the 2021 virtual investiture ceremony of the Most Venerable Order of the Hospital of St. John of Jerusalem with the playing of the Royal Anthem.
Thank you. Have a pleasant day. Bonne journée à tous.